A while ago, I made a video about a device that it was a, basically a spray bottle that you plugged into USB and it turned salty water into hypochlorous acid or sort of diluted bleach cleaning agent. And at the same time, I ordered a few different ones from eBay, but I didn't want to make too many videos about the same thing. So now it's time to take a look at another one. And this one is called the Household Will Use Disinfectant Generator 5 Minutes. Use salt and water with our Procuct. You can make disinfectant by yourself 5 minutes. Excellent. Sodium hypochlorite generator, 99.99% disinfectant. When we open it up, we find a set of instructions in Chinese and English. Reasonably acceptable English. And the device itself, obviously I chose the pink one. Did I choose the pink one or is that just what I got? But it is a pink one. I probably chose it as being pink. As the USB connector, you can see through the side electrodes inside, which I'll, I'll take this apart later on. I don't know if there's any active electronics in it. We'll find out when I take it apart. But you get the unit and you get a scoop of salt. And it basically says in the instructions, uh, put water into a glass. For every 100 milliliters, add one scoop of salt. I've measured the scoop with table salt. And the scoop actually measures three grams. So they suggest 2% salt. This is actually making a 3% solution. And for comparison uh, to this sort of disinfecting or water sanitizing solution, I got some of these little tablets that are chlorine water purification tablets. I think they're chlorine. Are these chlorine? Oh, one moment. I'm just going to check this. Ah, yes, it does release chlorine. Its ingredients are sodium troclosine, otherwise known as sodium dichloroisocyanurate. Lovely. And when you dissolve one of these uh, 8.5 milligram tablets, in one litre of water, it makes a density of, but it gives about five parts per million of chlorine. I exaggerated that. I dissolved one in just uh, 100 millilitres, which is a tenth of a litre. And I dipped a strip in it because I've got these chlorine test strips here. And the level is extremely low. When you dip the strip in, there's a very slight colour change. Keep in mind, this is 10 times as the strength that it would normally be. And when compared to the chart, it comes in about 2.525 milligrams per litre. So it would be a tenth of that. Uh, so 25 to 50 milligrams a litre. So it will effectively be 2.5 to 5 milligrams a litre. Okay. Right. I shall put that strip out the way. That is a reference. It's very weak. It barely smells bleachy. Right, tell you what, let's begin the test. So here is the little scoop. I'm going to add the one spoon. Where's a teaspoon? I've not got a teaspoon. So one scoop of salt to this. I'll just use this to stir it then to mix it up. I don't think it needs to be all dissolved anyway, but that water is now completely undrinkable. And to see how much current this unit draws, I have a power bank uh, and I have a plug-in meter. So let's do this. Let's uh, get this cable untied. And I shall plug it in to this. Nothing will happen probably because I honestly don't think there's much in the way of circuitry. I will dunk it in the water, but I'm going to time it. I'm going to put it in for five minutes. Um, and then once it's been in for five minutes, I'm going to measure the strength of that. The salt is not all dissolved. This is not really surprising. The current, it's said it would be an amp. Let's start the timer. Start. Uh, it's only 300 milliamp it's drawing. I can see the bubbles coming out of it, though. Uh, so they said it would be an amp. I feel cheated. But maybe this is good. I'm not sure what's in here. Now, what's in here, and we will open it up later, are two electrodes... I get the feeling, I don't think there's a resistor in here or anything, but we'll find out when we open it. But uh, there are two electrodes and it causes an electrolytic reaction where it kind of, the salt, the sodium chloride in the water uh, reacts with the oxygen hydrogen and you can see it bubbling here and the bubbles come out. Well, let's zoom down so you can see it bubbling. Let's just zoom down so you can see absolutely everything. This is what, this is what it's supposed to be about here. 
Um, and since we're more interested in what's down there, we'll focus down on that. And brighten up, maybe? Yeah. Swamping it out, but we can actually see what's happening now with the power. Right, tell you what. Uh, so it separates that. Oh, can I smell that? Oh, yeah. God, that is so bleachy smelling. That is making a very, very bleachy liquid. Right, tell you what, I'll give it its five minutes at the 300 milliamps and I shall return and then we'll stick the strip in and we'll see what strength of uh, stuff we've got with this test and see, you know, what sort of result we get. I shall be back in three minutes and 30 seconds. And stop. So, uh, current is up to 400 milliamps. Let's turn the power off. Let's uh, swish this about a bit in here. So that's it, had five minutes. What strength are we going to get? I think it's going to be quite high. Am I going to be dripping stuff everywhere here? Yes, I am. Let me just grab a bit of paper towel. I didn't think this through, did I? No, I never do. It's not a surprise. So here is our uh, liquid. Oh, that just smells like, like a swimming pool exploded. Let's put the strip in. That's a lot stronger. Okay. So let's see what this comes in at. I shall lay it on there. I would say it comes in at somewhere between 200 to 300, probably. Close to 300 milligrams per litre. Okay, that's quite strong. Um, and I'd guess that if I gave it another uh, five minutes, it would, yeah, let's give it another five minutes. So I'll just bang it back in again. I mean, by the magic of YouTube, we can do this. So in it goes again, the bubbles are fizzing out of it. Let's give it a shake to make sure that uh, it's making connection. Let's start the timer again. And uh, yes, I'll be back in five minutes. And the next test, five minutes later, let's turn the power off again. It's up to 400, well, it's wavering around about 400 milliamps. Let's do another test in this and see what the concentration is now. So I shall uh, swoosh it around with this, tap it in the side, put it over on the paper towel, which is in place now. And uh, I have to give it another swirl, just because I feel the need to swirl it for some reason, just to make sure everything's mixed in. I shall dip. Is this a new bit? Yes, it is a new bit of strip. I shall dip this in even darker. Oh yeah, let me show you the original strip. This is closer to the... Hold on. I'll just let, I'll let you guys decide. I'll let you guys decide here by focusing up there. What do you reckon? 500? That would be about right, wouldn't it? That is kind of doubled the strength. And there was the original one that I did the first pass through. So yeah, that was the two to 300. I think it's actually lightened a little bit since. Uh, probably because of the bleaching effect of chlorine. But I would say, yeah, this one's in the region, heading in the region of 500. So uh, it does produce a fair concentration. Now the question is, what if I was wanting to use this to actually sterilise drinking water. To me, that would mean getting one litre of water, putting a pinch of salt in, and then maybe testing it just to see... Um, oh, that's going to be quite tricky to test. I shall maybe... Right, give me one moment. I'm just going to do some experiments. OK, random wild experiment time. I have put two pinches of salt into one litre of water. That's that much. I'm going to drop the electrode and see how conductive it is. It's showing about 50 milliamps. And I can see the stuff bubbling out of that already. I'm not sure if you're going to see that. It's also doing its best to float out the water. Um, are you able to see that? I shall move it over to that side. No, it doesn't want to move over to that side. It just wants to do its own thing. So I'm going to leave it for five minutes in this level of water. So let's start the timer again. Uh, and then when I come back, uh, I shall taste the water and see if I can actually taste the chlorine in it. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to move this to the middle of the shot. Um, actually, let's get a focus target at round about the same height, which will be about there. And I'll move this to the middle of the shot. 
put that about the same height. It's really not one to play ball because it's floating about, partly because it's filling itself up with gas. And the next part of this experiment after tasting this, I'll zoom down this. This is just to show you there are bubbles coming out of it. Can you see the bubbles? Yes, you can see the bubbles coming out of it. So once I've uh, done this, I'll taste it, and then after that, I'll just take this thing apart. I've already noticed that the little pink rubber band thing may be covering a screw because, well, I've not lifted it, but it is a sort of flexible rubber sleeve that has been put over. So I shall be back shortly. And resume. So this uh, is still drawing about the 35 to 40 milliamps, depending on how many bubbles are in it. Uh, I'm not getting a huge smell of the chlorine. I wouldn't expect it. Mm, there is a tiny... Uh, let's try the strip in it and see if it changes colour at all. Uh, no colour change, but then that's what I got with the first test I did uh, with the tablet dissolved in uh, in one litre of water. I'm not sure. Can I taste the chlorine in it? Hold on, I'm just going to taste it. Not sure. I think it may require a bit of experimentation to determine how much, uh, how long you'd have to leave it in the water, but it certainly was doing something. Right, tell you what, I'm going to take this out of the way before I spill it everywhere. I'll be back in a moment. All cleared up. Let's open this up. Does this thing come off? It does. It's a sleeve. Is there a screw? No, there's not a screw. It's just a little rubbery sleeve. Is it holding it together? So the point of that experiment was really to suggest that perhaps in the event of an apocalypse, you might be able to sterilise drinking water. Oh, this does just unclip apart. That's quite nice. Is it just going to be two electrodes straight on? Let's zoom down for this for the, for the reveal. But in the event of a super mega apocalypse, uh, maybe you could improvise uh, water sterilisation Two of those electro plates, these have some fancy coating on them. Oh, one of them has the fancy coating on it. Uh, you can't just use stainless steel or aluminum because uh, it, there's a certain, the reaction is quite vicious. So one of these plates may be some special coating on it. People say platinum, but I'm not sure they'd be using platinum in cheap products. Although I suppose it's possible this plate could be coated platinum. And they've got the polarity in the exact way for it. Uh, is this going to split open any further? I don't think there's going to be any circuitry in this, is there? I think this this is chewy. They've actually kind of moulded that in there, I think. Tell you what, then. We could improvise this. Um, I shall just do a quick test. What can I do here? I shall do a quick test. I'll just pause momentarily while, momentarily while I do this because I don't think it'll be that quick. One moment, please. Test complete. There, there's no circuitry. It is literally just the five volts being applied across these two electrodes. They're a specific distance apart. The coated one is connected to positive and the uncoated one uh, that just looks like just bare metal. I'm not sure what metal it is. It's not easily attracting. Hold on, I'm just going to scratch that. I'm going to scratch it with a sharp probe. One probe. Is it aluminum? Not sure that is. It could be stainless. Not sure. It's certainly not attracting a magnet. Um, Now, nothing really magnetic about that, although uh, there are some stainless alloys that are slightly magnetic and some that aren't. It could be stainless, and that other one, well, a coated stainless in the case of that one, although I do, noting the edge, it is like they've cut it from a sheet that has just been coated in the surface, and the edge is fairly sort of dirty, uh, in the sense it's just a bare metal edge in that, it's not got the coating all the way around. So I'm not sure what that is, the coating they've put in it, but it is one apparently optimised for creating the hypochlorous acid uh, when you apply a voltage across this current flows through the salty water. So yeah, I guess ultimately it's interesting to know this just in case somehow in the end, that in the future that you somehow find yourself in a scenario that you need to create some sort of hygienic way to treat water, including drinking water. But uh, interesting little thing. 
I can't immediately think of any use for it other than that. Camping, maybe. Uh, that would be quite handy. But, um, but there we go. That is it. It's the little, uh, what do they call it again? They called it the Household Will Use Disinfectant Generator. It's your little USB powered one with no circuitry at all, just the two electrodes and the USB supply in a fairly neat little container. And that is about it. But interesting. Well worth testing.